today we're going to be doing lava lamp experiment. So what you need for this experiment, you'll need a uh, one third cup of water. Uh, you'll need a water bottle. Preferably you'll need a one liter to two liter clear bottle. I'm doing a small one example for an example right now. And then later on, I'll bring the, the big one. <clears throat> you'll need vegetable oil as well. And then a funnel to make it easier for it to pour in into the bottle. You also need some food coloring and then also some Alka-Seltzer, sodium bicarbonate or, and citric acid. I got the, I had this at home, the, the Picot, <clears throat> but you can get the general uh, regular Al Alka-Seltzer, but this works as well. And this is not in tablet form. Uh, preferably you could use the tablets to make it easier, but it should work as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I have my small water bottle to show how to fill up the water bottle. Uh, first, we're going to fill the water bottle with water. It doesn't have to be one third exactly, but just a small portion up to like right here. And then the rest of it, you'll fill it up with vegetable oil. So that should be good. Let it sit in. So next we'll pour vegetable oil, fill it all the way up with what I have left. Hopefully it fills up all the way. There's a funnel. Now what do you think is going to happen? Is the oil going to go below the water or is it going to stay above the water? So we know oil and water don't mix. So why is that? Well, vegetable oil is like a fatty acid to triglyceride and it's non-polar. Water, on the other hand, is polar. And also, because vegetable oil, oil in general is just less dense, meaning it, it weighs less than water. So it's actually gonna stay atop and float on top of water. So the water will stay at the bottom and oil on top. So that should be good enough. Let it drain. All right. So as you can see, we have two layers, water on the bottom, oil on top. So as you pour it, as you pour the drops in, you'll see that they'll float a little bit, but then they'll start to go down to the water because the food coloring, since it's water-based, it's not interacting with the oil. It's not coming out as drops. Should come out as drops. But the droplets are forming and they're going, they're sinking down to the bottom towards the water. So you'll do that. You could put as much as you want. <clears throat> so eventually you'll let the food coloring settle all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, I'll bring it to the front. As you can see, the food coloring eventually is going to go down towards the water and then it will dissolve with the water. Right now it's interacting. You can see the goblet, like little emulsifiers, they're emulsified. And then they'll go down. Eventually you'll have, since we're using red, it's going to be full of red down here with the water. So that's why I use this to show you. And eventually, you'll have this. So here's the two liter, one liter. So I use blue food coloring, which is down at the bottom with the water, mixed with water, and the rest of the vegetable oil on top. So next, you're ready to put the Alka-Seltzer in to make your to make it fizzy, to make your lava lamp work. Since I don't have the tablet with me, the tablets, I'm gonna use the funnel to pour the powder. And eventually, since you're adding the sodium bicarbonate and citric acid into it, it's gonna dissolve with the water. So it forms a gas, it forms carbon dioxide. 
So the carbon dioxide is eventually going to go up, and that's why the food coloring in the bubbles, they come up with the gas. So as the gas is released, uh, the bubble should go back down once the gas is released because the gas goes with the water and the food coloring. And then once the gas comes back up, the other ones come back down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more to give it more of an effect. Should be fizzing more. And perhaps the tablets will be better, will work better because they're they're heavier, so they will eventually sink to, towards the water, which will make the more more bubbles come out. In this case, we don't have to wait. So eventually you have the fizzing and the, you have a lot more coming up, a lot more bubbles. And to add to the effect, once you have the bubbles going, you'll, you can place a flashlight. Let me turn off the lights. Go ahead and get a flashlight. You now have your lava lamp. Bubbles are going up and coming back down as gas escapes. Let's make it a little bit, get some bigger bubble. Okay. <laughs> 